So hey everyone, it's me Celeste, welcome back. So today I wanted to quickly jump on here and talk to you guys about herniated discs and share some of the latest science around this. This channel has definitely not broken the internet, but you guys that have been coming back to the channel, the herniated disc videos have absolutely made my life, especially with all the incredible comments that have been coming through telling me about how the different exercises that I shared with you have actually made an impact on your pain. Now my ego isn't loving this, but I wanted to update the science behind why it's working. You know, I used to talk about the fact that the bulge gets bigger when you go into flexion and that it gets smaller when you go into extension. But guys, actually, when we're starting to look at autopsies of people that have showing up with herniated discs, we're realizing that this science doesn't add up. One of the things that we're realizing about herniated discs is a lot of people that have them are actually presenting with no pain. I mentioned the autopsies. When we look at their medical history, they've got no symptoms. And then when we look at people that have very severe pain, they don't have anything wrong with them. There's something that's not quite adding up and that is where the new science is coming in. A lot of you know I'm actually on a neuroscience course at the moment and there they're starting to teach us not only about some of the research around herniated discs but also the neuroscience around pain. Now when we start to look at the brain we realize that the brain is this really insecure organ that ultimately needs you to be safe. It doesn't care if you're happy or if you're thriving or if you're are miserable, it just wants you to be safe. And so what it does is it'll give you different symptoms to alter your behavior. One of those symptoms is pain. Sometimes if you've had a lot on your plate, like perhaps you had a fight with your partner, maybe you're not eating well, drinking enough water, getting enough sleep, maybe you have got something physical going on in your body, all of that stacks up to the point where your brain goes, oh, I can't take it anymore. I'm going to take you and put you in bed because you know what? There you'll be safe. We call this the three threat bucket. Once you've reached a certain level of threat, your brain will probably produce a response to help you change your behavior. If we're looking at the way that people move that have herniated discs, they tend to, not always, but they tend to be a lot in flexion. Maybe they're cab drivers or maybe they have little kids that they're picking up all the time. And this excessive use of one type of movement also adds to the threat levels in your brain. Then I come along and I'm telling you, you know, you've got to do this class, it's going to really help your pain. If you go into more extension, one of the things that it's doing is not necessarily pulling that herniation back in, but what it's doing is telling your brain, oh, the extension movements are reducing threat levels. And that is what's giving your brain the opportunity then to reduce pain levels. So I know it goes a bit in contrast with what I've been teaching, but I just wanted to kind of jump on here, give you guys the latest science around it. And in some ways it might be a bit confusing. You might, might be like, well, what am I supposed to do with this information? But the really cool thing about it, guys, is think about it like this. Yes, I have a herniated disc, but that is not necessarily going to mean I'm in this pain body forever. There is an opportunity here for me to adapt how my brain responds to the pain. And that is really something that you can do on your own by reducing your stress levels, by learning how to breathe more optimally. And of course, by doing those classes that are made, they're not useless, they're not invalid, but just remember that they aren't necessarily pulling the hernia back in. I've always taught you that that's what was happening. I'm not gonna stand by that anymore given the latest science that's coming out. So I know that's a big old brain dump on you guys. Thank you so much for watching and especially for all of the comments you have sent me over the years, letting me know that these videos have actually made a difference to you. It really means a lot. Remember, the concept can still work. Change your behavior. If you're always in this position, maybe try a different position. Do those classes, reduce your overall threat, and I promise you, it's going to make a big, big difference to you. As always, thanks for watching, and if this video made any sense on any level, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video, which is actually another little class for those of you who have a herniated disc.